Learning Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1991, a two-series scatter chart. Hey, I'll be podcasting the whole book. Go ahead and click that I in the top right-hand corner and subscribe to the playlist. Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jillian. Yesterday, we talked about pasting new data on a chart, and it's funny, the only way that I know to create a comparative scatter chart where we're comparing two different populations, particularly where those populations have a different number of members, uh, is to use the paste trick and I'm going to show you this. Uh, so we're comparing uh, years experience along the bottom uh, with salary, right? So you would expect the longer you've been employed, the higher you're going to work. But I have two populations, the populations of people who own the Mr. Excel Excel book and the people who don't, all right? Okay, so I'm going to start out creating the chart for just one of those populations, the first series. Insert, we'll choose a scatter chart, regular scatter chart, and we get the first series on the chart. Let me resize this so it fits between the two. All right, now to add the second series to the chart, I'm going to very carefully select the new data, including the heading. I'm going to copy that data, Control C, and then click on the chart, and then go up here to a very special version of Pace Special. I learned this from John Peltier, the chart guru, uh, Excel MVP. We're going to Paste Special and choose Category X Values in the first column. So it's going to be a new series. The values are in columns, and we don't want to replace existing categories. And click OK. All right, now we get our second uh, series there, but you can't tell which is which, so you need to add the uh, legend, and I want to show the legend at the top. All right, so now we can see the dark blue book owners, uh, light blue notebook. Uh, maybe we come back here and change the color of these to be red. All right, so there you go. You could, in theory, keep adding more populations just like this if you had three or four different groups to compare. Scatter charts, a whole different type of chart. They, uh, you know, they have an extra component that most other charts don't have. Uh, so it's tricky, at least for me, uh, to be able to, to create multiple series in the same charts. Well, hey, this is tip number 10B. This is even one of the 40 greatest tips. This is a bonus tip between tip 10 and tip 11. There's so much good stuff in this book. Go ahead and order it online right now. Click that I on the top right-hand corner. I would really appreciate it. Episode recap. All right, so we created an XY or scatter chart with two series. They're difficult to create. You have to start with a one series chart uh, and then select the new data from the second population, including the headings, copy that, and then use the special version of the Paste Special dialog box saying that the, uh, the X values are in the first column, and then add a legend to tell the series apart. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.